Hey guys, Thunder E here. Today we're talking about a laptop that you're going to hear a lot of people rave about. And I'm also one of those people. But I decided instead of just doing something more traditional, let's take this with us for our honeymoon. And I'm talking about the Lenovo Yoga Book 9. And yes, I just had my honeymoon. And thank you for all the congratulations in the comments. Appreciate that. But we're talking about this bad boy here. This is the Yoga Book 9. I'm holding it right in front of you and it is very unique. And my idea was, can I actually use this on vacation or with me on the road? Because this is a dual screen laptop. Yes, it's a 13.3 inch laptop with two displays. Both of them look absolutely vibrant. The OLED displays, very functional and it is something that is quite unique. Now, let's take a look at the hardware, what Lenovo's brought to the table. Now, we know the yoga line is something Lenovo's done really well over the years, and this takes it to the next level. Besides the fact that you can put it in different form factors, you can afford put it in tense mode, you can stand it up, you can use both displays. What this allows you to do is just function a little bit differently. So the first thing you notice is when you open this up, the bottom display is, yes, a display, and you can also pop out a keyboard. Now, the keyboard here is one I have to tell you that you will have to get used to using that on-screen keyboard because for this size, it's just something I'm just not used to typing in a very traditional fashion. But the, I like the fact when you pop out the keyboard, you have a full keyboard, you also have a trackpad area, which you can have as a standard trackpad area or the whole bottom display. Whatever you choose, you can do that with this device. But that, it doesn't just come with a digital keyboard, also has a physical keyboard. Now this physical keyboard is quite unique because it allows you to place it on top of the bottom display. And once you do, it recognizes there's a physical keyboard there and then it creates the, uh, the touchpad area at the very bottom and you can use it which, whatever you want. So that's also pretty nice. Now, I decided, okay, look, I had some emails I had to answer doing, of course, uh, uh, my honeymoon, and I was able to use this laptop quite effectively. That's one of the first things I would say. The fact that I could have two things on one screen. So because of that physical keyboard, I could actually put it in this, you know, freestanding dual display mode where I had a YouTube video playing on one, I was typing a document on the other display, which was pretty nice. Uh, and I can have two things working at the same time or in tense mode, you could do the same thing where someone else is watching video and while you're doing some work. So it is very reliable in that aspect. And speaking of watching content, this thing is vibrant. It looks really nice. Even in direct sunlight, uh, it's still handled well, but the audio was something that you have to actually have to listen to. So. Let's take a quick listen. The speakers are pretty nice, centrally located in between both displays. It works out really well. Now the hardware is powered by the Intel 13 gen processor. Uh, this is a U processor, but it gives you some really solid performance. Plus you've got three ports built into this device. Uh, these are Thunderbolt four ports, two on the right hand side, one on the left. You do have a camera privacy button and then you've got the power button all on the right hand side there. And that's it for ports in this device. And you know what? It's fine because this is something that you need for both the flexibility of entertainment and work. Now you ask it, um, what's the battery life, right? How good is it? Now they promised about 10 hours with do both displays and it got pretty close to that. I would say usability while using both displays, whether you're watching content, you're typing, whatever the case may be, you're gonna get a full day's work with it. I like that. And even if you don't take that physical keyboard with you, you should still be able to use the on-screen keyboard quite effectively. And the thing about the keyboard is that once, you know, if you get into, uh, say, uh, a web browser and you tap, the keyboard will pop up. If you're in documents, you can also set it up to pop up as well. There are a couple of gestures that are built in. So for instance, you can use your all your five fingers on one screen on a browser, and that takes it to a full screen mode using both displays, and you can use that as well. The pen, is also quite responsive. Uh, it writes pretty well, very solid, and gives you smooth motion. And I mean, look, I could mention many things about this device, but I would just sum it up this way. It is really good, and this is a first step into what I think we're gonna see more devices like this. 
Now, I've heard some people say, hey, maybe it should have something like an ARM processor so it could be thinner and lighter. And that could be the case. We'll see how that happens with future chipsets. But I like the performance I got from this with the Intel chipset. I like what Lenovo has done just using the two displays and giving you different gestures. I like the fact that the keyboard and the different positions you can put it in are pretty solid. And I think you're gonna like it too. So if you're thinking of picking up the Yogabook 9 uh, from Lenovo, definitely use the link down below. If you have any questions about this device, any concerns, leave those qu uh, questions down below. Try and answer them. This is Thunder E saying thank you and well, always enjoy entertainment.